Good morning ladies and gentlemen, what a day we have here today. We are at Ferrodale Oval, located in the small Hunter Valley town of Madawi, and the home of the Port Stephens Power for the inaugural Black Diamond AFL Women's Representative Challenge. Today is July the 21st, 2018, and right now at 11am, we have Central Coast versus Newcastle. And after this, we have Central Coast who will be up against the Hunter. We're off and away. Central Coast versus Newcastle. See, so it's Murray in the rock. Josh Kelleher almost got away with it. Gun player from Kalani Vale. Good kick from Bowen. Ashley Page starts well. Ashley Page gets it back again. Back to Claire Walsh. Who would take that? Some good hands there from Morgan Ross. A lot of cheering from the spectators as Morgan Ross takes the mark. This could be goal number one for Central Coast. Just lining it up well. It's looking good. And it's a goal to Central Coast. Beautiful start from Central Coast by Morgan Ross. They've started well and hopefully they can keep up the good spirit. It's got to be always the best way to start a football game with a goal. Especially if you're the away side. Some good work in the ruck from Kanisha Murray. The Wyong Lakes ruckman as well. And I think Newcastle might have another chance to score here. A good handball from Cross. And a good tackle from Bethany Wood. We have a contest out on the far side of the ground out near the benches and a good kick from Kakarovsky and the umpire blows the whistle and I think it might be a free kick to Newcastle oh no it's a free kick to Central Coast now who's there to get the football And a good tackle. Good kick there from Newcastle. And Central Coast have the football again. A good mark there from Alex Pierce. Another good kick from Newcastle. Very intense competition. Who's this running on hard? It's Courtney Barnett. Barnett kicks the ball back out onto the wing. Kakarovsky. Wait, now that's Alex Pierce. Took her time there to get the football. And I think Newcastle will be paid the free kick. And instead of the four 20 minute quarters, the reps games, all three today, will be played in 25 minute halves. Back to the game. Good kick from Potts. It's just a smothered kick though, but that's okay. That happens in footy. And I think Newcastle will take the free kick. Yep. And a good bump from Central Coast. We're seeing some intense competition out there in the Newcastle forward line. It's a free kick to Newcastle as well to Die Crep of Warners Bay. You can see her in the Bulldog socks. Newcastle might have a chance to score here. She kicks good enough. It's looking well. Nah, it will be a behind.
So good kick there from Sarah Ball from Wyong Lakes. Who I'm guessing is the full back for Central Coast. Some more intense competition. A good kick from Butler. Georgia Butler that is from Kalani Vale. Another intense competition out towards the bench. And the umpire blows the whistle. And I think it might be a throw-in. Yeah, it's a throw-in from a boundary umpire. Some more intense competition. A good kick from Jocelyn Kelleher from Kalani Vale. And some quick legs there from Newcastle to quickly get away. That was Taylor Braithwaite from the Newcastle City Stars. Pretty good idea for Newcastle, the coaching staff, to put her in the back line as no one can shut her down and she just runs all day. Arizona Cross wins the football and a good handball over the top. I think that was to Eloise Peterson. A beautiful tackle from Central Coast. So it's a free kick. And I think that's from skipper Emily Bowen. No, it's from Central Coast captain Emily Bowen, who's a gun defender of the Magpies, and that was Kalani Vale captain Ashley Page that took the mark then and plays on. And another mark, but I think the umpire called play on. So now I reckon it's going to be a ball up. Yep, umpire throws the ball up for a ball up. Murray won the ruck there. And it's a good tackle, and I think Central Coast have the free kick again. Yep, I think that was Alex Pierce. Claire Walsh, can she get away? Nope, she's gone. A good tackle. Now the ball's back into the hands of Newcastle. No mark, dude. By Halverson, another gun player from the Newcastle City Stars. Dixie Butler kicks out wide. Who's there? I don't think Coast were quick enough to take another mark. A real intense competition. Can Morgan Ross quickly get another goal? No, nah, it'll be a behind. There'll be another behind the Central Coast. Dixie Butler running hard. And a good smother. Justin Kelleher running hard. Another good kick from Newcastle. So, some good hands from Tash Gregory. No mark do from Potts. A good handball. Beautiful tackle from Jocelyn Kelleher. Umpire Rachel Robinson pays the free kick to the amazing Jocelyn Kelleher. One of Kalani Vale's best players, I reckon. A good kick from Sheldon Jannison from Lake Macquarie. Yeah, Silver. Nice, Ashley Page takes the mark. Not only is she the Kalani Vale captain, but definitely has to be one of the best players as well. No mark due from Newcastle. So Eloise Peterson from Cardiff. Oh yeah, Eloise Peterson from Cardiff ended up getting the free kick instead. Dixie Butler gets it out, and the thing umpire calls holding the ball against Butler. So it's a free kick to Newcastle. I think it's a free kick to Newcastle for in the back. And it's another good mark there from Newcastle again. 
Sarah Halverson, still continuing her good form as always. Newcastle might have a chance to score here. Where is the football? I think it might be in the middle of the contest. Umpire with the football, throws it up. And no mark do there in the ruck. We have another contest. In Central Coast, th I think they might be able to get it out. Maybe not. If the umpire blows the whistle again, and it's a free kick against Newcastle, but it's not to be. And umpire blows the whistle, and it's a free kick to Newcastle. It's a free kick to Jess Lashley from the Newcastle City Novas. They might have a chance. It's looking like a very tight competition. Fighting hard for the football. And I, th I think the umpire is going to settle the competition out with another ball up. I think we have Megan Jenkins on the bench from Central Coast. A good tackle against Courtney Barnett. Almost got away. The same again. Jocelyn Kelleher in the contest. And I think that might have been a throw and a good kick from Morales. And there'll be another behind. So one goals, one seven to just two behinds. And we have the Hunter side already coming down early to watch. Have quite a few Nelson Bay girls over on the other side of the field. A good kick from Sarah Ball. And no mark do. We have another tight contest out on the wing. A good kick from Potts. Is that Georgia Butler, number six? Almost won the ball. Newcastle might win it again. It's looking good, and maybe not. I think that one went out in the fall. Yeah, it did. So some very tight competition between both sides. Central Coast in the orange and black and Newcastle in the brown, white and green. Newcastle almost had a chance to score there. He just hit the pad. So we'll be behind number three. Sarah Ball in the back line. Who's she going to kick to? She kicks out to Jocelyn Kelleher who takes the mark in good fashion. Who's Kelleher going to kick to now? No mark do. Dixie Butler gets the football. Soccer's it out. Megan Jenkins is on the field now. Hambles out to Kelleher. Can she get there before she gets tackled by Braithwaite? A beautiful mark there from Georgia Butler. She's got to make a good option. A good mark from Bethany Wood. Who's Wood going to kick to? She might, she'll have to make a good option. Morgan Ross, will this be another goal? Nah. She is gone. And it's a free kick to Halverson. And no mark do. It's a bit slow. And it's a free kick to Central Coast again. To Dixie Butler. Who's Butler going to go to? Over the head, back to Newcastle. And a good mark there from Sheldon Jennison. And Tash Gregory, a beautiful bunny kick. Jennison gets it back, and a good handball. Bit of clever handballing work there between Newcastle and the ball will go out in the fall.
so it's a free kick to Central Coast. Who will it be to? No mark two, but I think it might be in the back first, so that'll be a free kick to Central Coast to Georgia Butler. Jocelyn Kelher coming out from the side. Who will get there? Some good hands from Peterson, I think. Oh no, it's not Peterson. And some good hands there from Sarah Ball, who's moved up to the midfield. Megan Jenkins almost takes the mark. Can Jenison get it again? Jenison get Jenison gets it out. We'll have another tight contest. Getting pretty aggressive. And a good kick from Newcastle to quickly pop it out. From Matisse Cram Parker. And another good kick from Newcastle. From Sarah Halverson. Who's still continuing her good form. And another good mark from Newcastle. And I think Central Coast is starting to lack the defence here. Kakarovsky almost had the football. Can she get it out? Maybe. French woman Lisa Morales running hard. Can she tackle down Paige? Yeah, it's a tackle, but I think Paige might not have had a chance to dispose of the football. They're probably asking themselves, when will the umpire blow the whistle? And the umpire does blow the whistle. It's a free kick to Newcastle. Tash Gregory gets the football, kicks it high, Jenkins takes the chest mark. Dixie Butler takes the mark again. Beautiful hands from a New South Wales AFL representative. A good handball from Sheldon Jannison again. She's also played quite well. And I think someone from Central Coast is down. I think someone from Central Coast has a severely jarred finger. It's Alana Nicholson from Wyong Lakes with a severely jarred finger. So she's just gonna go off and have a, a bit of a rest. And a good kick there from Sarah Ball. Sheldon Jennison gets the football again. She's played pretty well in the mids was a pretty good choice in putting her as a defender. So that'll be another behind. We've gone through 18 minutes, 30 seconds. So Sarah Ball on the back line. Who will take the mark? I think the umpire called a mark anyway. So good mark from Di Krep of the Bulldogs. And another good mark from Newcastle. From number 10. Emma Jane Howe from Lake Macquarie. One of their best players. Sarah Ball, trying to give her a bit of a hard time, put her off. And it's touch. So that will be another behind. Oh no, it's a goal. It's a goal to Newcastle. Goal umpire gives the all clear, dismisses the touch rule, and waves both of the flags. So it'll be goal number one for Newcastle. And Central Coast might just have to play a bit harder if they want to get that lead back, but it's only a three point lead. One goal's for ten to one goal, one behind seven. And no mark doing the ruck there. Looks like some very tight competition here. And I think I might be.
might be a throw in. I reckon we'll have about five minutes left to go in this first half. A good kick from Janison. Central Coast managed to get the football again in their defence line. Oh, oh, ankles broken from Newcastle. Emma Jane Howe almost took the mark. We have more tight competition. The ball comes out again. Who will win it? Maybe Central Coast. Arizona Cross looks like she'll be able to win the football, maybe not. A good kick. And no mark do, but close enough from Sarah Ball. And a good mark there from Newcastle. I think it might be someone from Newcastle City. Rachel Potts thinks she can get away with it. And it's a free kick to Potts. A good kick from Potts. Is it two? It's out to someone in the midfield. So up next it's Central Coast who might be able to have a short rest until they're up against who I reckon will be a side that will be as strong as Newcastle, the Hunter, which will consist of players from Nelson Bay, Port Stephens, Maitland, Singleton and Musselbrook, especially Nelson Bay. Uh, they have a lot of their good players in that team, especially captain Sophie Balkan. A good kick from Newcastle, it's gone out wide. Just out to the edge of the Ford 50. And some good handball work there from the other Wolves and West Newcastle out there. Number two, Alice McCloskey. And a good kick from Hannah Page, I believe that was, who also made reps. No mark do, no possession as well. Claire Walsh, can she get another possession? Yes, she can. Claire Walsh goes short. And the page running hard. And no kick from Butler. It's a free kick to Newcastle. I'm sure Georgia Butler would have had plenty of time to dispose of the football. Yeah, it's an easy mark there from Hanley. Will this be another mark? No. A good smother from Kakarovsky and a good tackle as well and Dixie Butler was thinking about putting on another tackle against Taylor Wilkes of Carter except for the fact that she didn't have the football and a good tackle from Kakarovsky and it'll be a free kick to Newcastle to Arizona Cross Oh, good mark, but I think she's copped a boot right in the head. Is that Sarah Ball? Maybe, or it could be, possibly be Emily Bowen, the captain for Central Coast as well. A good handball from Cross to McCloskey. McCloskey. And a good mark from Sarah Ball again. She's played magnificent in that back line. Good kick from Sarah Ball. And a good hip and shoulder from Kakarovsky and a good tackle. Absolute gun at tackling. So I reckon probably just a few seconds left to go here in the first half. And a good kick from Newcastle. 
So I reckon the siren should just about go to end the first half. The good mark and decided to play on from. Didn't see who that was, I think. That might have been someone from Wild Lakes. Central Coast with the free kick. And that should have been high contact. And there's the siren. So that's the end of the first half. Newcastle, one goal is 4-10 to Central Coast, one goal, 1-7.